Hey gang, quick video for today. We're going to talk about XY plotting. That's when you want to compare multiple things against each other and kind of see what the best settings are. And sometimes you can take a long time to kind of you know string wires around and figure out what you're doing. XY plot is a very nice way to do it. And to do it, you're going to need the efficiency node pack. So if you go to your manager, and I'll show you, I have quite a few nodes installed right now. We're going to be doing a lot of really crazy stuff here coming up. Uh, so I'm preparing those videos for you guys. Uh, but I wanted to show you what I have installed here. If I click the right button, um, you will see there's an efficiency nodes for Comfy UI here. Uh, this is a fantastic pack here. It does do one of those things that I tell you to avoid, and that is that it bundles up a lot of functionality uh, and exposes just a few controls. But it has so many great modules in it that I highly recommend it. And this is one of those that I, I recommended way back in one of my very first uh, Comfy UI videos because it is so darn handy. Uh, so let's learn how to do an XY plot. It's pretty simple to do, but I wanted to walk you through one and then you know how to do it. So if we double click, let's find the best way to do this. We just search for uh, the efficiency node. So uh, we can do this way and you see that there's an efficiency loader and an efficiency loader for SDXL. Of course, we're going to use this one and then go ahead and set the uh, appropriate uh, SDXL models. And then once you have that set, this is this is pretty much ready to go. And this takes care of a whole lot of those things like an empty latent. Uh, it has these other things that may be a little interesting here. The tuple is the all the other things that kind of uh, are in this node and you can pull them out and you can expand them. Uh, so this works very similar to the pipe that we covered previously. So if you see, uh, we expand this tuple, we can pull all of these different pieces out. Now I'm not gonna use this so much because I wanna use the impact uh, packs version of the pipe because there's so many other things that I like in there, but there's nothing wrong with this one. It's just if the efficiency pack doesn't have the node you need and then you need that pipe, you have to unpack it. So at this point, I'm not really gonna use these so much. At least we're gonna use it briefly for today only uh, because again, we can put this down in about four nodes, which is really great. So in here, obviously you have uh, all of your base stuff like you would normally, uh, all the things you would expect to find when you hook up your bases. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop in this uh, here and I'm not gonna put a negative prompt. Uh, so 1024 by 1024 batch size one. And this has the clip skip in it, which is kind of cool too. I know a lot of people are into this. Uh, so you can clip skip minus one there. And then uh, the refiner checkpoint, go ahead and put that in. And you'll see that it adds uh, some of these other things. In fact, this is not optimal for me. I prefer 2.5 here, uh, but there we go. So that's easy to do. And again, it's one nice thing. Now we did do a template a couple weeks ago. So if you remember, we had here, we had the uh, node template and then we had the SDXL base workflow. Uh, which is all of this stuff here. And this uh, pretty much replaces uh, this, except for the, obviously the case sampler here. Uh, so it is a pretty cool thing to add in. And uh, by the way, I did put all of these uh, different templates and stuff. Those graphs are available for people who are supporting the channel, including this one here, uh, which I just posted a little bit ago. So uh, you're gonna watch me build it, but that is already available in the posts area of YouTube for channel sp uh, sponsors or better. So again, thank you guys so much for your support. Again, we couldn't do it without you. All right, so once we have this set up, we want to do the, the uh, case sampler. Let's just get that out of the way. So we're gonna actually use the tuple here because it comes with the case sampler right away. So we're just gonna pop that in. And again, you see that it contains a whole bunch of stuff, but it does have this other little strange thing at the top here, a sampler state. So we have simple hold and script. So script is what we're gonna use for XY plotting and hold will hold whatever it generated last and not regenerate this again. So it's the same as kind of picking a fixed seed, for example. But let's say you don't want to change it to a fixed seed and you just want to hold that. That's what hold will do. Uh, but the rest of this is uh, pretty standard. I think we've all revisited these things a few different times. Uh, so let's go ahead and create an XY plot. So to do that, again, I'm going to use this double click and just type in XY. And we see we've got XY plot here. Now we have a whole bunch of inputs as well, which we're going to play with. And you can kind of get the idea of where this is going. Uh, so if I put an XY plot down, uh, we can go ahead and see, well, we have dependencies and that's all this stuff. So we'll just plug that right in. And that contains, you know, what are we gonna, what, what model are we using and so on. But we do have other options. If we did want to use different models, there are uh, different XY plots for that. So we have an X and a Y here. Uh, so again, we can just type in XY and we've got all these different things. So the one I was looking at today was the scheduler sampler. Uh, so we'll put that in here under the Y. And then for the X again, you can also pull these out and it'll give you things. Uh, but seeds plus plus in a batch uh, is what we want. That way we know we're going to generate uh, three of these and we can just kind of um, go from there. So so this is kind of replacing this batch size over here uh, with this one. 
And then so we can go down here to our to our samplers. I actually want to use a scheduler here. Uh, and, you know, because those are interesting. We don't really talk about those very much. You can just go ahead and pick them uh, one at a time to see the ones that you'd like to compare. And you, you have to do this a little bit manual, but it's about a moment. And there you go. So what we're going to do here is we're going to plot our scheduler against a different seed and it'll create more or less different rows. Again, you can have this if you want to flip it. You can space the grid apart if you'd like. You can do all kinds of uh, other little things here. And then that's it. So we're going to run this into this uh, sampler here as the script. This. Then we do need to hook up these other things, like the latent has to come over, and then the VAE also has to come over. If you don't do the VAE, by the way, you'll get a really weird error. It'll say zero, and you won't know what is going on. Uh, that's what's going on. And then we can pull down a preview. Now, another little tip, by the way, if you go into your manager here, you'll notice that there's a preview method and it's set to none very fast. But if you change this one to the TAESD slow version and hit close, you can expand your sampler and it will actually show you a rendering here as it's building whatever whatever's going on. Uh, so you can do that. And now what I would probably do is just save these off, uh, but that's uh, that's totally up to you. And you can change it to a preview or a save. And there we go. That's just about it. The only thing you have to remember to do is to change this from sample to script. Otherwise, it's only going to generate one image and stop. And you'd be like, why isn't it doing this whole thing? Uh, that'd be the reason. So once you get this ready, just go ahead and run it. This is going to take a bit. So we'll, through the magic of the internet and YouTube, we'll speed this up for you. And there we go. Once we're done, uh, we obviously see that this case sampler did indeed uh, produce those images as it was going, which is pretty nice. You can also save it from here as well. So if you'd like to save this off, you save image. And then obviously, if you just drag and drop the image into the interface here, it'll load up your XY plot. Now, I do have a template that I made uh, in here. So if I do node templates, I have XY plot as, again, this pretty much this exact same thing. And so if I need to use it again, I can just do that as well. So sometimes I may want to borrow bits and pieces of this, maybe just replace this part here and leave the seeds in sampler, but perhaps, I mean, leave the seeds, but perhaps I want to change the sampler to something else. Uh, so then it's really easy to load that in and uh, ready to go. So there you go. It gives you a really good example of the different uh, schedulers and kind of what they're doing. And uh, I think this is really kind of neat. So you can see which sampler you prefer. And again, you can mix and match them. You could do part of your workflow with one sampler and then switch in the middle if you wanted to. I mean, one scheduler, sorry. Uh, I keep interchangeably using those, which I shouldn't. Uh, but this is uh, this is pretty sweet. So you'll be able to do whatever you do. And obviously the seeds are the number of columns. And then whatever we have here are the number of rows. And you can always switch that up here uh, if you want to change the orientation. So there you go, everybody. Enjoy. Have a great weekend. Everybody take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you all next time.